All right, this is the Moonshade. Comes in this nice little pouch. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, we're gonna try to install this thing for the first time. This time I'm gonna use these suction mounts. Eventually I'm gonna put little eyelets on the tops of this guy, I think, to hook them to. So. I believe the thing is about seven by nine and the top of the trailer is seven feet. This should work. Very cool. There is another pole you can put in across the back here. But she's stiffen things up a little bit. But I don't think it's necessary for this installation. I think you use this if you can't hook to the corners. Yeah. Alright, here's a look at the moonshade all installed. Now I haven't hooked up the safety hooks to the corners. And I haven't run any guy wires obviously because of my concrete. Seems pretty sturdy. Definitely not going anywhere. I mean, it moves the whole trailer. Yeah, I think this will work good. It's a little pricey for an awning, 
but it's very versatile considering I can put it on this side of the trailer or that side of the trailer. And I could possibly even hook it to the truck. We'll try that next. So I went ahead and added the extra support bar on the back side. And now I'm gonna move it from there over to the to the truck. Takes very little time. All I did was use the Velcro straps that came with the smaller suction cups and the support bar. Yeah, just like that, you can have an awning on your truck. You can have an awning on your trailer. I can put it on the back of the trailer going over the hatch once it's open doesn't really get more versatile. Well, there are some cheaper options on Amazon. I'm assuming they're not built as well. This seems to be pretty good. Attention to detail. They have these safety hooks to keep it from disconnecting here. It's adjustable if you want to make it taller. Right now we're at the lowest setting. Uh, there's a hook up here for a lantern. Very nice.